We're doing a little recap of The Walking Dead Season 2. Absolutely, second half, Season 2. The whole mm -hmm. Season 2, actually. Yep. Feels like the third season, doesn't it? It does. I'm not used to those uh, mid-season gaps. There's a lot of controversy behind the second season, and uh, a lot of people actually didn't like the second season, but... Uh, well, at first. At first, yeah, the first half. And I was, I think I was the only person still waving the flag, saying, have patience, have patience, it's, mm -hmm. it's gonna build up, and it'll pay off, you know. It did start to get a little redundant in the first, uh, what was it, how many episodes were total? Like six. First six and the last six. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of dialogue, a lot of drama, a lot of farm, we're still on the farm, a lot of Dale... A lot of Herschel. All right. You know. But some of the story was definitely crucial. And um, we're starting to delve into some darker territory. And the last six have had definitely paid off. We're seeing some transition in the tone. Especially with uh, Rick's character. We can get into that. But big things obviously happened in the last six episodes. Um, the character development in the second season I thought was crucial. And I thought it, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I'm actually a bigger fan of the second season than I was of the first season. As much as I love all the action in the first season. Yeah. Uh, what are, what's we got to talk about the highlights of the second season. Obviously, um, focusing on the last second half, the big thing is Shane. Shane going over the deep end, and we all know about his untimely demise, which, by the way, speaking of which, we chose to do this um, a good... Two week, weeks later. A week or yeah. a couple weeks after, uh, just to avoid spoilers, because mm -hmm. we know it's all over the net, and I certainly had a hard time... Um, avoiding stuff like that, you know. But anyway, um, Shane went off the deep end once again, uh, lured Rick out to the woods. He was going to do the deed. And to me, his wife, or sorry, Lori? Yeah. Lori, she started it, man. Mm -hmm. She's the one that kind of planted that seed and told, Rick, told Shane, you know, that the baby might be his and she didn't know. It seemed like he was starting to kind of tone down a little bit. And then she told him that, and it sent him right back over the edge. Then he's leading Rick out of the woods to do with him because he's under the impression that, you know what, if you were dead again like you were before, they'll come back to me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course we learned that Rick kind of knew the whole time what was going on. He wasn't, you know, anybody's fool. He's getting led out into the woods. And um, when he tells Lori what he did, that basically he wanted it to happen. He allowed for it to go on. He allowed himself to get in that position so he had a reason to kill him because he was just sort of cancerous to the whole group. And when he told her this, she freaked out on him. And like, would she slap him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm like, what is wrong with this chick? I really don't like Lori and I, no, want, I, I want her uterus to get eaten. <laughs> oh, God. I do. I think she's horrible, man. It's like the, the dude tries so hard. Yeah. And he was, he was a, Shane was a cancer on the family. Um, Even though I was a big fan of Shane, I don't know why I just liked him. No, nah, he was he was a crucial part of the story, you know. And they're just gonna have to replace his character, um, his role anyway, and which I have a feeling they're gonna do so with either in the role of Andrea because mm -hmm. she might have so, she thinking. might have a vendetta that they kind of left her behind, mm -hmm. you know, and got picked up by this mysterious new character who's obviously female that had uh, armless zombies in tow. And that was pretty kick ass. It was so. Yeah. I have every faith in the world that they're going to introduce these new characters that are going to help balance it yet again with the uh, dismissal of some of the ones that we just lost. Um, but also, Shane's character will be, uh, his void will be filled by Rick because we saw the dark tone in him happen at the very end of the episode. It's almost like he killed Shane and he almost took over part of his persona. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's kind of, I was kind of glad that uh, Dale ended up getting knocked off the show. He was getting annoying. Yes. You know, it's like, we got it, Father Knows Best. It's like, he had a problem with everything. He's a voice of reason. We got it. Um, there are different times, though. I mean, especially the post-apocalyptic zombie thing. He's trying to think realistically, or not realistically. But, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying. No, I know what you're saying. So, it, as much as I do like the actor, and I, and I, I do generally like the character... I want it. I want Andrea gone. Maybe she'll prove me wrong in the third season, and she'll prove very viable and you know crucial to the story. But maybe that makes her a good character, not a bad character, because you love to hate her. At least I do. I don't know. It's up for debate, but can't stand her. Um, like I said, I can't stand Lori. She can get killed. I want that kid. I man. wanted Carl to die. I hate. Carl, I wanted man. Carl to die. Yeah. I think he's so annoying. Yeah. He's just. He's more drama than his mom. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, and he whole, you know, he didn't tell anybody about the zombie, and he's the reason Daryl got 
Dale got bit and mm-hmm. stole Daryl's gun and, and all yada, 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 and just talking to the prisoner, and he, he gets in the way. More trouble than he's worth. Yeah, well, I mean, I get it. Worth, it's his son. I got that, but whatever. I personally, I'm all for kids, man, but I wouldn't be offended if they killed him off. And <laughs> if they just totally deboweled him. Yeah. You know, he annoys me. I got friends that think he's adorable. Oh, cute Carl. Oh. Oh, Carl. Sorry, man. There's no room for children in the apocalyptic zombie world. No. Um, so that's that. Like, But the, the highlight of it is I is Rick. Rick is... His character is taking the turn. I really look forward to seeing how he unfolds in the season and hopefully seasons to come. And uh, because as much as I love... I've always been in Rick's corner. I love his always trying to do the right thing Dudley do right attitude you know I'm trying to keep it together but the monologues oh, do horrible. get a little horrible. old oh. you know it's like the Danny Tanner Bob Saget yeah. sit down cue the music yeah you're just waiting for it you know um, it's 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 been played out we got that it was time for him to change and thank God they're doing it so I'm looking forward to seeing a more conflicted and gritty Rick mm-hmm. So I, I think it'll be quite, and I think we're really going to see some acting chops from Andrew Lincoln because I think he's amazing. Yeah, and I think oh, yeah. I think he's just going to be able to spread out even more. Um, with that said, what do we? What are our predictions for season three? Besides, besides, the, besides the things that they've already revealed, you know, on the internet's like the introduction of the governor mm-hmm. um, and things like that. I have not read the graphic novels, and I, I really either. don't want to read them until the series is over now. So I know about as much as they let out you know on on the web about that stuff but uh, we know about the character of the governor there's obviously this this new secretive female character i out. think it's going to be like you were saying about andrea comes back with a vengeance uh something something to do with her i mean uh, some of the they drama. did leave her behind so i'm sure she maybe she'll replace some of that shane vendetta yeah. maybe but um i don't know it's it's hard to predict like um I don't know. I don't know who they're gonna kill off next. I mean, T Dog was not really an important role in the second season. Not at so. all. I mean, he had that 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 moment, the first one, where he was responsible for the whole Merle thing. Which, by the way, I wouldn't mind seeing Merle at some point. I think he might come back. I think he's gonna. I think we're gonna see Merle in season three. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think we will. Uh, I I've always got room for more Michael Rooker. In oh, my book. he's awesome. But uh, you're right, man. T Dog. We were waiting for him to get ate up. It's mm-hmm. like. He is just the most expendable character in the world. He just kind of shows up. He has episodes where I swear he doesn't have a line. I feel bad for the guy, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I mean, so... And I, I've seen him doing interviews online about the current season and what's to come, and I'm like, he probably feels kind of like a... Like, well, don't ask me, man. <laughs> that yeah, thing. yeah. But anyway, we'll, maybe we'll see more from him. Um, but other than that, I can just say I really like how they change the scenery. I like the whole idea of each season is, has a new setting. They're moving on. Um, clearly, we saw um, a zoom out of what I assume is the governor's mansion. Yeah, you know, at the mm-hmm. very end. And other than that, that's it. It's really kind of hard yeah. to predict. Looking forward to the third season. Second season, I thought was better than the first season. That's just my opinion. You know, um, I've talked to people that saw a million miles away that Shane was going to get killed. Mm-hmm. I honestly didn't see them. I eventually, I thought they would. Yeah. I honestly didn't think they were going to do it so soon. No. So. Uh, if they were willing to do that, I think there's going to be bigger shocks in store for the third season. And now, they obviously have no standard on what they'll do. So what? What about the whole the zombie? Uh, you know, somebody dies and then coming back, and they're just, oh, yeah, they're just starting to, to you know find that out. That's the way it was back in the Night of Living Dead days, man. Yeah. There was just something in the air type yeah. of thing, you know. And then the, the people were rising from the actual graves, people that had been there for years and years. So I had people ask me about that: is like how they come back if they're not bitten. Well, they die, they come back. I mean, that's the way, you know. It was back in the day, yeah. you know, so. And there was never really a solid explanation. Maybe there's not going to be one here. I kind of like that, though. Yeah, so do I. Or maybe there will be. I mean, if they were just to say it's airborne, good enough for me, mm-hmm. you know. So we'll see how that unfolds. But like I said, with the whole absence of Shane, now we know the gloves are off, that nothing would surprise me now. Like, if they kill off Lori in the next season, if they kill off Carl... It wouldn't surprise me, and honestly, I I hope we get some more of that, you know. And if they prove that they can replace Shane with an equally great character like this, this female warrior we saw, or the governor, then you know what? As much as I fall in love with some of these characters and dislike some of them, I'm all for killing them off if they can keep producing the quality and Mm -hmm. the replacements. So that's all I have to say about it, you know. So anybody, go ahead. Oh, I just want to throw out there, uh, check out the. You know, Facebook page is a website. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. BehindTheMassPresents.com for sure. Um, the new and improved page. 
Um, hopefully will be your new source to anything Walking Dead related. And uh, we'll be talking a lot more about this, you mm-hmm. know. Film related, video game related, um, book related, comic book related, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much, uh, if, you, if you're a big nerd like us, you're going to mm-hmm. fit in just fine, you know, so come on in basically. And um, that'll pretty much do it for us then. Absolutely, man. Um, sound off below. If you have any comments, shoot up the uh, Facebook page or the yeah. website. Let us know what you think is going to happen through the third season. We'll so. throw our email down below as well. Feel free to send us any emails as well. And yeah, cool. let's start. Let's start debating people. Well, this is the Riverman. This is Goose. We'll see you guys later. Bye.